Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us here in our webinar series. This is, uh, this is webinar number 69 that we're going to be talking about today, presenting today. And it is our fifth webinar um, uh, series, fifth video where we talk about Ray Studio 3 analysis and, the, uh, and all the work that's been going into it. I know a lot of you have been, um, have been working with it, and, and it's, it's not designed yet probably to be your your only piece of software you take. Ray Studio 2 is probably where you're still working, but in order to do the integration with the video and the data, you're probably uh, you know, having both of them run at, at some time. So that's, uh, so that's still ready. So this is our fifth one. We promised when we opened this up that we were gonna do about once a month, we were gonna come back to you and give you updates and uh, about where the, where the process is and how, how the development is going and then get feedback. Um, one thing I'd like to just mention straight up front, and everybody's doing been doing a pretty darn good job, is if when you use the software, the uh, the Ray Studio 3 analysis uh, beta software, if you have questions, software at uh, aimsportline.com, and we'll talk about that email address a little bit later as well. But but mm -hmm. uh, make sure that you include them. That takes the that takes your questions and your uh, um, comments and bug fixes and anything you see takes it straight to the software team that's working on it. I am more than happy to. Uh, to be included and look at it. I'm working with the software a lot with Emiliano. We we chat sometimes daily at times, but uh, about <laughs> uh, about different things that I see. And um, but we really need you guys to be sending it to software at aimsportline.com. So so keep that in mind. And there's uh, some buttons in there that Emiliano will probably talk about that are, are are built into the software to give your feedback directly as well. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, let, let's go ahead and introduce uh, Emiliano. He's gonna he's gonna kind of control and run the uh, run the show today. I get to sit back and relax. So uh, the a uh, uh, little bit about Emiliano is uh, he's been here almost every webinar that we've done. Certainly, this is I think is his seventh um, webinar he's joined us in. He's done these 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 four or five. Um, you know, one's about Race Studio 3, but also one on math channels. And he was, uh, he headed up the one on the sim racing package. So it, uh, so Emiliano has been here um, co-presenting a lot and then almost everyone in the background answering questions in the chat box, things like that. So super, super pleased and super, um, you know, thankful of uh, Emiliano's help with all this. Thank you very much, Emiliano. He's, um, uh, I'll just kind of turn it over to Emiliano to, to self-introduce a little bit, but um He's been a big help for us, uh, and uh, here in the states, certainly, he's really into what what he does, uh, all of AIM Italy, but uh, Emiliano is especially. If we have some questions, he's uh, he's all over it. He's helpful. Uh, he goes to the racetrack a lot, and uh, he, he comes here. The picture in the lower left there, I think I think you mentioned to me once that was a drag race. So he's uh, he's uh, all sorts yep. of different uh, motorsports events. So Emiliano, I'm gonna turn it over, and you can uh, do a little bit better introduction of yourself, and then we will. Uh, we're going to get jump right out of the presentation materials and right into Ray Studio 3. So a little bit better uh, uh, um, um, introduction, if you would. Yeah, thank you. Uh, as first, uh, hello, everybody. Thanks. Uh, thanks for being here. And uh, thanks, uh, Roger, for having me for having me here. Uh, my, uh, you know, I, I don't like to speak about myself uh, that much. Uh, so maybe that's uh, why I do it this way every time. Right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem. No problem. Sure. Uh, yeah, th th that one uh, in the picture was uh, was a junior director race. We were in, uh, I think, Bandimir, uh, close ah. to Denver, Colorado, uh, together with Mike James. Uh, we we were we were developing the very first uh, versions uh, of the Micron. 660 for the specific uh, speci uh, product uh, specific specific uh, for junior directors yeah the, the very first of a of a long series uh, we then we had the micron 4 660 and now we are we are having a micron 5 660 that's uh, being introduced in these days yeah, yeah. and and, uh, and and robbie robbie posted into the chat box, writing software at night and testing it the next day at the racetrack. And that has yeah, happened, that, uh, that that has has happened more than what days. we care. Right? <laughs> that was those days. <laughs> that was those days, yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And Mike James helping uh, helping with, uh, with coffee. <laughs> <Me>. <laughs> okay. Um, the, uh, the next slide is just jumping right in. So I, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a new share. And the uh, do -do -do, new share. <laughs> And let's go jump right into the Ray Studio beta. And the other thing I'm gonna we're gonna do 
we're going to give remote control to Emiliano mm -hmm. so he can jump around at his uh, at wherever he would like to go. You should have control. You have to mm -hmm. make sure you click once. Yeah, uh, we are we are speaking these uh, these uh, for this entire hour about uh, about Ray Studio Three analysis. But uh, I just need uh, one minute of introduction for a couple of features that are uh, that are. Uh, if you want, they are they are outside the analysis. The first one I, I would like to speak about is uh, is the uh, one of the download. Uh, let me see if it clicks. Okay, one of the download options uh, because it's a feature that we recently intro introduced. Uh, you know that uh, when you download data from uh, from uh, AIM devices, you can choose also uh, an additional export format. Uh, you can export. Uh, you can export uh, data while while you save uh, uh, the data as a DRK file for uh, RS2 analysis. You can also uh, create some uh, CSV files. Uh, you can create a CSV file in a RAS3 format. You can uh, create an old, a previous format uh, of the CSV file that's dedicated for RS2 analysis. We went back to having uh, the RS2 analysis format because uh, it's uh, it's used by by some uh, some simulator. I think uh, Labsim from uh, from Bosch can uh, can open our our uh, previous CSV, CSV files. And then we we can export it to MATLAB, Google KML or uh, national instruments uh, format, but we are introducing uh, since uh, since this version a new format that that is uh, S3T. That's uh, a time series format uh, for a software named uh, GlyphWorks. Uh, some uh, some customers ask that's for, and uh, we we please pull. Uh, Basically fully added it to, to to our Ray Studio 3 export formats. What kind uh, of software? What kind of software is that? Is it uh, is it engineering data, software? It's an engineering software for data analysis, uh, and uh, it's, it's useful for analyzing a uh, huge uh, huge time series, very very long time series, uh, using uh, this oh. specific for uh, software. Uh, so we introduced it, and then uh, and then one other the one other boxes that are pretty important for what we do here with Ray Studio three. If you're going to use it in race, view your data in Ray Studio two and Ray Studio three uh, analysis. Mm -hmm, yeah. That lower checkbox analysis mode. Let, let's talk about that. Make sure that both of those are checked, or else uh, we you will not create the the data files yeah, for absolutely. the other types. Uh, th those two bottom boxes are are uh, needed for when you download the data uh, using uh, this uh, Ray Studio three beta version. You can decide if you want uh, your data to be analyzed only in a Ray Studio 3 analysis and you flag for if you want this you flag only the, the bottom uh, the bottom box or if you want to keep also the Ray Studio 2 analysis uh, as your analysis uh, software pieces pieces uh, of software you flag also the Ray Studio 2 analysis and uh, if you if you flag both uh, data will be will be downloaded and transformed into a DRK file, and in parallel, they will be imported in Ray Studio Three analysis database. If you flag both, in two different places in the in the normal uh, uh, yep. folder structures, which makes it pretty safe. I mean, you're you are doubling the the, the mm -hmm. size. The file sizes aren't that hard, you know, that large anyway. But it does it does double up a little bit. But really, a good thing to do at this yep. point why we're why we're doing what we're doing. So yeah, sure. Okay. Perfect. You can st you can stand in a safer point of doing uh, doing this for sure. Uh, another another feature of the Ray Studio 3 software I would like to speak about is uh, al always in this uh, top left uh, uh, top top left uh, menu is uh, a batch conversion. Uh, I, I need uh, I need to speak uh, about this uh, because of the. Uh, the, the, I mean, the reason is the same. We have a new a new export format, and uh, it's available both in download and and in batch conversion. Batch conversion is useful when you when you need uh, maybe to process a, a huge amount of data, maybe some uh, some old data, some old XRK files uh, of uh, say two years ago that you want to create uh, an export uh, with. Say you want uh, to export a. a a Google KML file from uh, from uh, 10, 
100 file, uh, all the XRK files, you can go, you can come here, choose the files using the folder or, or file buttons, uh, select the format. When you choose the file uh, here on the top right part of this uh, this window, a convert button will uh, will uh, will be prompted to you. Uh, just click the convert button. Wait for the time uh, needed to for needed for, uh, for 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 the conversion, and uh, a message box will be prompting you. Uh, it's uh, it's finished. So uh, that, that function has this window, that function uh, yeah. has been very helpful. That that function has been very helpful, especially with folks that are using it for technical compliance where they need to take an entire weekend's worth of data and do something with it. And it's yeah. been very, very helpful. Yeah, very, very helpful. Yeah. When, when you receive data from uh, from some other some other friends, persons, customers, uh, yeah. students, okay. uh, if you if you are a coach, you can convert their their data into into usable uh, formats. Uh, so this is the last these two windows were were the chance for me. Uh, to introduce the new the new export format we 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 introduced. Uh, let me speak about the analysis. What we introduced. Uh, the first thing I would like to speak of is uh, the uh, the window in which in which you do channel settings. In this window, uh, we changed uh, a little bit what we had in the in the previous uh, beta version. Uh, now you can. Uh, let me point uh, straight to to what we what we changed in the plotting scale. Uh, here you can decide. Uh, I mean, by default, uh, the Ray Studio Three analysis is uh, automatically scaling uh, all uh, all the all the the channels. Uh, the, this plotting scale is uh, is the scale that is used. I, I hope that the mouse is uh, the is. mouse cursor is visible is for, 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 for all. Yes. So yes. Uh, it's uh, it's used to scale these uh, y axes in the in the time distance plot, for example. Uh, if you do not want uh, to use uh, the, to leave Ray Studio uh, automatically choose for you to maximize uh, the space, and you want you need uh, to specific specifically choose. Uh, uh, values for minimum and maximum of of, uh, of this uh, scaling. You can uh, uh, let me let me select uh, one of the channel that is displayed, or we can we can use uh, we can. Okay, okay. I think the right GPS channel. were at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. There you okay. go. We can use a search and uh, <laughs> search feature. Okay, GPS speed. We can uh, decide we want uh, we want it uh, from uh, say twenty to uh, one hundred and forty. If we apply and exit, uh, uh, it was a. Uh, yeah. was. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Okay. It was it was actually already at one twenty as well. Let me uh, let me bring that back open real quickly. It is uh, it is beta software, right? And let me open it up. Let me open up the test. Oh. And uh, yeah, no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't had it do that uh, too too often. Let me options. And and let's reshare this. Where that there's that button. And boom. And okay. And we were in. Uh, I think we were. We were right here. I think everybody should be seeing that, right? Wow. <laughs> okay. There oh, you see what happens. Okay. Yeah, that uh, I have not. I have not run into that um, uh, with my testing either, and I've done that very step a number of times. So it is. Yeah, what I, it is. I it is did what it, it is. a lot of times. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I, Can I have a? Oops. Yes. Darn it. Yes, you're right. Uh, remote control. That. Uh, you know. There you go. It should be yours. Mm hmm. Okay, so anyway, if you okay, you can uh, you can choose this one to to use from uh, say forty to one one and forty. He's gonna let press me, his luck and do it if again. I, if I'm yeah. Back, if I'm, uh... <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> if it's better now. Okay. Here, here it is. You can you can also uh, you can also choose uh, maybe a step value. So you can you can uh, you can use a step of uh, twenty. And these effects, uh, uh, the ticks into the into the into the y-axis uh, that determine the grid, the grid into the okay. 
it was already at 20, so it didn't look like okay. it changed. Yeah, but that, yeah, but, but uh, okay. yep, okay. all good, all good. I did, I did not realize it was a, it was a 20. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. okay. There was a, there was a question that came up from the previous mm -hmm. export yep. that I thought maybe we would slide in there really quickly. Sure. You, you talked about uh, exporting, and um, I don't remember where it was at actually. Um, uh, when you export, do these export options always export all of the aim log data, or yep. is or can you pick a single lapse or single channels? At the moment, at the moment, they export all the data, uh, all the channels, all the labs. The okay, moment. perfect. And um, and I think there was a second one. And and uh, yeah, do, does it export? The, does it do like Ray Studio Two does when you export or, or or bring in the data, the math channels that were involved in that file? Do they go along as well? Yeah, they export also also math channels. Uh, uh, at the moment, uh, I think the exporter will not be exporting the math channel formula. So it will be exporting the com the computed data, but but soon uh, the math channels are still a work in progress. But uh, yeah. so soon uh, that will be true as well. Uh, and yeah. I don't want to go into this deeply, Barry. But the, how about shock position example where you want to zero a line? It actually follows. I don't. I'm not going to do it, but it follows the same process as Ray mm -hmm. Studio Two was, where you can come into here and if it was 20 millimeters off, you could come in and plug in minus 20 and apply an exit, and the whole thing shifts down. Yeah. I have tested that. To and set, it's a, fine. set an offset. Yeah. If you want to set an offset, uh, it's uh, exactly the same as a uh, as a uh, Ray, uh, Ray Studio Two. Right. Uh, what we introduced here is uh, is those uh, is this possibility to uh, customize the scaling and using a custom step. This step uh, is uh, useful here in time and distance plot to determine the the ticks into the into the grid uh, on the y axis and uh, is useful as uh, we will see later. Okay. Uh, in in histograms, so if you want, uh, because if you insert a step, that step uh, uh, will be used to divide bars in the in the histograms, and so you can uh, easily get uh, what with the Ray Studio Two is not is not easy to get. I mean, you can easily get uh, bars uh, at intervals of your of your choice. You're choosing. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And make sure you click. Make sure you click on it once, so your uh, your 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 microphone's going a little bit funky, but it sounds okay now. Uh, go ahead and click okay. away, and uh, and go to your okay. next point. My next point is uh, is what uh, we introduced here is uh, this. We we improved the the channel tags. Uh, in the channel tags, we we added as as it was before in, uh, in Ray Studio Two, the minimum, the maximum value, and the average value of this channel. If uh, if I zoom in, if I move uh, if I move to another lab, this is the average of uh, all the shown data for every for every channel. The, when when uh, when you click uh, the channel tag, you will see that uh, the channel is highlighted. So if you in case you have uh, several channels displayed on the on, on the same uh, on the same plot, you can highlight the one uh, the one of, uh, of your of your interest. Another thing we can add, we can add here, uh, moving always uh, in, uh, through the channel settings bar, is that uh, you can uh, you can manage also alarms. So maybe if I click here and I insert a one and uh, so one twenty, and we add a minimum of uh, say sixty, uh, you can see if you apply, you can see that uh, now alarms are uh, are highlighted also in the in the plot, and this was not available in uh, Ray2 2 and uh, they are highlighted also in the bottom storyboard and the right. bottom part of the of the software. So you can uh, quickly see if uh, if you have uh, a, a channel with uh, that needs your attention uh, in maybe a lab that you are not uh, you are not displaying in the main in the main. Uh, uh, in the main uh, time uh, distance uh, plot. Uh, you can see that uh, if you move the cursor uh, over in, in, a, in, an, in an alarm area, uh, the, the channel is highlighted in the channels list, the whole tag is, is highlighted and uh, yeah, and, uh, and if, you, if you select the channel, uh, when you hit when you hit the diamond of a minimum or of a maximum value, uh, the cursor in, into the time distance plot is uh, brought exactly 
where the alarm was. So if I click, uh, if I click here, the cursor will be placed uh, exactly in the point uh, of the of the the minimum value. Uh, in here in the time distance plot, we I think we improved a little bit of the delta function. Uh, if you just click here, okay, you enable the delta and you point uh, at uh, the place in which you want uh, your delta base uh, to be. Uh, delta is always uh, computed uh, in a positive direction of time. So it's always from the left uh, to your right. You can move the cursor uh, around. And if you click, uh, if you want to move the cursor in this uh, in this place, that's uh, at the left of the of the of the base uh, line. Uh, base and and cursor will be switched among oh. each other. So the delta will will always be from the left to your right. Uh, also, when you when you drag the cursor, you can drag it, and the the drag will never will never go over. Uh, we never go left of the of the base. In these uh, in this version of uh, Race View Three, in Race View Three, uh, in case uh, you place the base uh, in, in in a wrong place, you can uh, you can move it. You can go here and drag uh, drag and drop it, and you can uh, you can move it to to another place. Uh, so so that's it. Move the course of things. Yeah, we, we've always been able to. Yeah, you, you, it's kind of a tight yeah, spot. You got, you got to get it, to, and it's hard. It's hard okay. when it goes through Team Viewer. Let me uh, let yeah. me do it for you for a second, just yeah, to sure. make it a little easier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you grab this one now, you can move your anchor point, so you can pull okay. that to the spot, and then you can grab the other one, and. Mm -hmm put it up to here before we've always been stuck on our anchor point wherever it was so the, yep. uh, so a pretty cool uh, pretty cool little change there mm -hmm. back to and uh, when uh, when you you are using a delta uh, you will see that uh, uh, i think i, I lost the Oops. no no you are in control okay no, yeah, no, there you go lost. there you go okay in the in the tags you will be shown uh, uh, this as a, as it used to happen before the delta value. So the the first number is the the position uh, the value of the channel in the position of the cursor. This is the value of, of your delta, and uh, this is the information you want uh, to be displayed there. In this case, uh, by default, it's the rate rate of uh, of increase of my my channel value. To change this, you can uh, right click in the in the main distance plot choose the settings and you can see that here you can decide what what will be shown together with uh, with delta in the channel tag so you can choose uh, as it happened in ray studio 2 analysis you can choose between uh, the channel rate or the average channel average from the delta base to the delta cursor or average when the channel is not zero or nothing i think okay nothing uh, nothing will be will be displayed uh, these settings right that uh, we are here these settings min and max visuals determines uh, where uh, when the minimum and maximum values for every channel will be will, will be displayed you can display it on selected channel as, as it is by default so when you highlight a channel you will be displayed the minimum and maximum value or you can display it always or never uh, the in this case is uh, disabled by default uh, race to three comes with uh, unselected because uh, i think it's a right uh, combination uh, it is and, uh, it's uh, it's useful to see what uh, what what you want to uh, what you need. And and uh, I whined about it enough that I think I talked him into it. There's a couple of uh, uh, there's a couple of questions mm -hmm. here I think that are, are tied directly to is the video latched to the anchor or to the measuring point? It's my gut. Uh, what I think I no, it's, it's the measuring, to the measuring to the measuring point. There yeah, you go. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So it, thank it, you. Thank you, Eric. Uh, um, Ian asks, are these, simple, are, are these simple alarms in the data review or do they transfer to the dash display while on track? In my, no, I, it's, I, it's, it's just inside the software right now. Right. We, are, we are trying to, to get the alarms from the logger to the data, review, to the data analysis. And uh, it's, it's a step that uh, we will do some, somewhere, some, 
<laughs> some, somehow in the future, I don't know. But uh, for, for sure, at the moment, uh, they will not go back to the to the longer. Perfect. Uh, and Eric, Eric asks, is the XY plots available yet, or is it Photoshop on the first slide? Eric, you are giving me way too, no, way too much credit Photoshop. on my Photoshop uh, skills. So uh, yeah, yes, we no. will uh, we will see just, it here in just, just a few moment. Minutes. Yep, just, just a few, few minutes. minutes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is the alum function also working in channels report? Uh, not at the moment, by, but uh, there, there's uh, a solid plan to do it. <laughs> Sorry about that microphone. It's, I think it's on Emiliano's end, but it's uh, uh, hopefully you're it's able a, to hear for the side. most part. Well, it's uh, every once in a while it just gets a little scratchy, but it's uh, we're hearing uh, the okay. basics, so not a big deal. Okay. Okay. What's your next? What's the next one? Uh, my my next point uh, is uh, oh okay. Uh, we introduced uh, with uh, with this version uh, that uh, I, I we will uh, for sure speak uh, of this feature in the future. I mean, I, I we will have another another webinar in 15 days or so, and we will be introducing this feature when when it will be completed the split uh, the split management. But if you want to start uh, to play with it, you can uh, you can drag and drop the splits. Uh, uh, okay, let me. Okay. Yeah, it's very, very, very hard for Emiliano to work yeah, it through. Yeah, it's very hard for me to do it. Let, let me uh, let me take over for a minute. Your uh, microphone got real quiet there, so if you would uh, maybe get that close to your mouth, but you can resize the the yeah, segments sure. and what uh, and segments are going to we're, we're going to show that they're going to become even more powerful here in a minute. But you could pull this back to just before the breaking zone on that one, and then pull this one to where just if you, after you get back on the throttle on that one, and now that segment has is being adjusted in all of the different uh, parts of mm -hmm. Ray Studio Three. As, as I was telling you just a few seconds ago, we will be speaking of, uh, of this feature in uh, 15 days. Uh, but if you want to start playing with, uh, with it, you can uh, right click on the, on the splits bar and, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, a wider menu will, 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 off, will be offering you uh, some, some new possibilities. Uh, I, I mean, we are, we are not speaking of those uh, of, of those features now, but uh, we will do very, very soon. Uh, okay, one thing that I think uh, can be useful is that uh, if I can have back the, you, the you, control. Just have okay. to click, click once, it should be yours. Okay, okay. There you go. Uh, okay, it's mine now. Uh, you can double click on, onto a split to get the, the whole plot zoom exactly at, the, at that split, uh, at that split. So you can uh, you can see the data you uh, the data you want to see properly in those uh, in in that specific uh, sector. Double click again on the on the top bar, and you will be back to the original uh, to the original zooming. Uh, another feature we added here is that when you, for example, go to into a snap off mode, if you zoom out a little bit. Uh, we added the tick marks, tick marks for for the the laps, and this is uh, these tick marks uh, are all, are also available when you go into uh, GPS time, uh, GPS time mode. Uh, you will be shown all all the all the um, lines referring to when you cross uh, you cross the vehicle. Uh, we added also the possibility to move to move the the scaling using a mouse wheel, either mouse wheel or mouse uh, dragging. Uh, you can uh, you can decide uh, which uh, which uh, you want to be your scale. Uh, at the moment, this uh, is to be meant uh, as uh, a temporary feature. I mean, if you if you change anything in your view. The, the the plot will be back to what you choose the, into the into the channel settings uh, window so if you choose it to be uh, from one value to another one uh, uh, it will be brought back uh, as soon as you change uh, as you change something you change the lap or or you move the, 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 the uh, you move the the, the slice the, the, the shown slice to another lap uh, the plot will be back to what you choose into the into that window that being either uh, automatically scaled or scaled at 40 absolutely, to 140 yeah. okay perfect absolutely yes uh, the, the the next uh, thing i would like to speak about is the 
the storyboard. Uh, the two points in the storyboard are the alarms that we are already showing here and the possibility to zoom it using, a, using the mouse wheel. Uh, when you zoom, you can, uh, you can drag and drop it. Uh, the only attention is that uh, if you drag and drop a, a lap, you are moving that lap instead of, a, instead of the storyboard. Uh, let let us go for a second to our next uh, our next uh, feature is this one. Uh, I, I jump back to to Windows uh, drawing of, of the map uh, because this feature is uh, is available at the moment uh, uh, only for for uh, Windows drawing, and this feature is the feature I'm speaking uh, of is. Uh, uh, is the colorize of the of the of the trays. Uh, we can now uh, choose uh, which is the channel we want uh, to use for colorizing uh, for colorizing the trays. Just uh, right click here, choose color channel, and uh, among among all uh, all the channels, you choose the the, the one uh, the one you want. Uh, maybe lateral acceleration. I don't know if it's uh, if it's available. Oh, it's yeah. very, it's very mild. Yeah, we're gonna need a search search bar right there in that select channel window. I think <laughs> it, it is it is already in the developer version. Okay, <laughs> there's I, a lot I, of channels I, sometimes. Uh, yeah, I for, I forgot to place it here. I mean, I mean, uh, tomorrow it can can be can be there. Your rate uh, can let, let us choose the yeah, your rate. There's some okay. there's some, there's some color is, changes uh, there. Okay. okay. If you want to jump back to the original uh, channel that is uh, GPS speed, uh, just to click this reset color channel, and it will be, be back to to what uh, you originally chose. Uh, in the map, we, uh, I mean, we are. We are adding uh, settings possibility in all uh, in all those windows in all in all the the, the windows available for analysis, and what we added into the into the um, tr track map is that you can uh, you can also show the the, the GPS point the points uh, instead you you can use points instead of instead of lines and go exactly to to the samples of. Uh, of, uh, of your GPS trace. And this is valid uh, now also for Google mapping, for web mappings. Uh, so we, you, can, uh, you can jump using, uh, maybe, maybe we can use uh, the uh, track map. The larger, yeah, because, the larger. Yeah, it's, it's a larger map and uh, we can use uh, this one to, to show it. Okay. Uh, Okay, here here is the points, and if you go back to web mapping, web uh, maps, uh, and and uh, you zoom in, uh, here also, it's it's displayed to you. It, it's it's uh, displayed using uh, using points instead of lines. Oh, oops, I zoomed in yes, okay. too much. When when you yeah. zoom in uh, too much, uh, the tile provider doesn't. Uh, doesn't feature a, a specific tile, and so it uh, it, it prints uh, black. Okay. So you you can you can see points also also here. Another thing uh, we we changed here is that one. Uh, also go to settings, and you you can uh, you can choose uh, when you want to colorize uh, your your traces. Uh, normally. Ray Studio 3 by default comes with uh, the colorize available only when you have one one slice. If you add a second lap, uh, you would be in the in the difficulty of uh, uh, choosing which is which. And so uh, normally by by default, Ray Studio Ray Studio 3 when you when you add a second lap, uh, colorize uh, the line of of, uh, of every lap using the color. Uh, choose it by choose it for 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 that lab. You can change uh, this behavior to be always colorize, uh, always use the color channel, uh, no ma no matter how many how many labs I'm I'm showing, or you can uh, move to uh, always use a slice color. So if you choose this. Uh, also, when uh, when you display one lap, it will be displayed using this uh, the color of this lap that it's uh, in this case is uh, this uh, this red. Uh, okay. okay. 
but I think a lot of people will end up wanting to have the, the, the aerial imagery in the background, typically, it, although it was easier for us to show those things with the white background just to make it easier to see. But yeah, sure. At the moment, at the moment, uh, the color, the colorized feature is not available on, uh, on web mappings. Uh, I mean, we keep, we keep starting and, uh, uh, the last time, uh, it also um, the possibility to use dots instead of lines was not available for 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 uh, web mappings. But uh, we managed uh, in uh, in uh, introducing it. Uh, who knows? Maybe maybe we find a way to to use these colorized traces uh, also in uh, in web mappings. I don't know. We are, at the moment at the moment I cannot uh, I cannot promise it. Uh, I mean. Win. If yeah, we can't win. promise win. Yeah. Um, one of the questions that's on there is, is, is I'm just going to jump back to the regular map. Uh, Tim asks, can you remove the Google Maps street trace? You, we've got all these these things from Google that come up there. It's my understanding that you have not found no. a workaround for that yet. Correct. At the, at the moment, no. <laughs> so one moment, of the things no. I've been doing, one that uh, because that bothers me at, at times as well, is 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 you have a bunch of different background images that you can select, and the one that tends to work the best for me, obviously it's going to be worldwide. It may be different map levels, different places, but Bing seems to come up with a pretty clean map that is yeah. still pretty darn good aligned. So um, that that's I think is is our workaround as of right now. Okay. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yes. Uh... It should be saved. Uh, I mean, if you if you choose to use Bing uh, or or uh, another screen. another type provider, uh, it should be saved. It should be ah. prompted to you by default uh, the next time you open uh, you open uh, Race to the Tree software. Good 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 comment there. And and let's let's just go a little bit farther down that road. I have found that you've done a bunch of work in that area, which is. Wherever I close it, it opens back up, and that wasn't. Uh, uh, I know that's been a that's been a, a, a high on your list of things to do. If I were to resize my uh, my uh, storyboard and and some things like that, for a while it would always pop back up where it was before, uh, where where the default was, and now everything is starting to really hold true. Every next time you open up another file, everything is where you all, want it. All the settings of the analysis uh, of the analysis part of Studio Three are saved together with profile. So if you make a make a change, uh, remember to save the profile, and uh, and you will find uh, what you saved uh, back. Perfect. Let's go through a couple of questions and uh, mm -hmm. just yep. to kind of get caught up. I, I know we're we're doing okay on time. It looks like to me. Uh, Tice asks, is the alarm function also working in the channel reports? I think did you already answer that one? I, yeah, I, I I answered it before. Uh, not okay. at the moment, but uh, there is a solid plan to do it. <laughs> Okay, and uh, Tice also asked, is the diff is the time difference added to the channel overlays for the track map? Uh, uh, yeah, at the moment no, but uh, but it's a good idea. At the moment, it's uh, time difference is not a is not a channel, but uh, we can uh, uh, can yeah. I I agree. I think I that's think... A, I think that's a, a worthwhile thing of of considering. Yeah, sure. And, and and I see I see the how how can it be can be useful for for people. Yeah, sure. Yep. Okay, perfect. Uh, Brian asks uh, to clarify the soft the software alarms would would be applied to any data imported or downloaded. Is is those software settings when you're setting them here? Are they if they're re saved in your profile, they should be applied, but not if you if you just did them and didn't save them in your profile, probably not. They are That's saved into the profiles. So so, okay. so if you choose to have an alarm on RPM, it will be shown uh, for every channel you open. Perfect. Every session you open with an RPM channel. Perfect. Sure. Um, should I make the assumption that the uh, from Eldon? Should I make the assumption that the points are where the data has been collected, i.e., the sample rate? Uh, yes, that is. Uh, that exactly. Is, uh, yes. Exactly the, the assumption you yeah. should be making. Yeah, because we are we are we are all, all the all the samples in our GPS trace uh, are time stamped with uh, both the GPS time and with uh, uh, with our internal time. So. And uh, that is exactly in the place uh, it was sampled. And, and of course, the location. OK. And, and the, exactly at the time, if you use GPS time, that was the, your exact time. If you, uh, if you switch to GPS time uh, mode, that's uh, that black icon there, that one, uh, the cursor will be showing you uh, time, uh, time of the day. And that's exactly the, the time of the day in which, uh, not that cursor, I mean, the cursor in the time distance plot. Oh, okay, okay, down. Yeah. 
uh, if we had that open. We don't have it open right uh, now. Okay. If you switch to movies uh, to the movies tab, uh, uh, okay. The course the cursor on top of this. Okay, that that is exactly the time of the day at which uh, your 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 sample was taken. And you've done a lot of work on the track maps and a bunch of other things that tie all this together where it is local time, not just some sort of a UTC time kind of a thing, right? It, it's it's local time. Uh, we 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 get um, we get the the GPS time. That's that's the UTC as you, as you were saying. Uh, but not, but uh, with uh, a web service we 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 we, we put together we, we we created we uh, correct that time to local time uh, uh, that's that's corrected uh, with um, uh, according to to the coordinate and according to to the DST. Yeah. And I think that's very important. All of us that are racers, you, we know we went out of practice at two o'clock in the afternoon and we're, we're trying to, or that wreck happened at, you know, whatever. And, and it needs to be around local time for those, for those of us users. So that is very, very powerful. Thank you. The only much. thing I'm, I'm wondering uh, <laughs> what, what, what can, uh, can be happening is, is uh, if you racing, if you are racing during the DST change, exactly <laughs> at the time. I don't know what happens to our to our cursor. Well, it does happen <laughs> in the middle of the night. Just for, in case in case you have a file taken in these uh, in these conditions, uh, just <laughs> send, please send, send it, it to us, right? <laughs> so we, uh, because it, it happens in the middle of the night, but it, but it, there could be a there could be a, a an endurance race going on at that point. So yeah, we, 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 it might happen. Yeah, it might happen. It's so, uh, normally 2 a.m., so it's it can only be uh, an endurance racing. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> it can perfect. Only be a 24 hour. Yeah. The uh, 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 next uh, next point is uh, is uh, in videos, videos management. I I fixed the bug uh, on, on the sound uh, okay. till uh, till the last version of uh, Race Studio 3 when uh, when you. Uh, moved uh, to another lap, or when you were, when you you were adding a lap, uh, the, there was a, a a little a little of noise due to due to the the, the movie starting uh, starting playing and uh, and stopping uh, a second uh, a second later. I I worked to to avoid this, and uh, I I set the software. To, to to play the video together with uh, with the sound uh, uh, only only when you have one video when you when you have more than one video by default it doesn't it, it's not playing sound uh, in order to avoid uh, to avoid uh, what's what what uh, possibly is a noise but if you want uh, you can uh, you can get it uh, through the settings to play uh, to play to play sound also for more than uh, more than one movie perfect if you if you choose always uh, it it will be playing uh, the sound uh, for possibly all, all the all the videos i've been uh, while testing this i've been uh, i've been uh, learning that uh, there can be some uh, uh, operating system and uh, hardware uh, limitations uh, for which uh, you can be finding your RS3 software playing uh, only only one uh, one sound uh, also if you select uh, more than one but uh, okay i mean i am trying to work uh, to work around those uh, those limitations but uh, at the moment it's it's like this it's even if you choose always, uh, it's not given that uh, that you will uh, you will be getting uh, those settings working. But anyway, as as, grab, as, as uh, some of the sound settings on individual PCs are, are, are yeah. we're having to work around a little bit of that. But the um, uh, the default comes in as only if one right now. Yeah, so, absolutely, okay. and that's uh, that's working in my, in my in my experience is uh, is always working. Yeah, in mine as well. I've 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 turned on always, and I've had uh, three three sessions up and running and I and and a driver shifts at a different point and I do hear one of the video uh, one of the sounds has the shift in it in stereo in my in my headphones so it's uh, on my yeah, end at uh, least it is working the way some people I, would have wanted it I uncovered it but because I have two headsets and uh, with one is uh, it's working with more uh -huh. and the uh, in other one it's working only for one <laughs> ah so it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those kind of things right okay yeah I spent okay. I spent half an hour looking for a bug but <laughs> it was my headset <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs>
Okay, yes. what was the what was the next topic you were gonna gonna chat about? Uh, we will be chatting about histograms. Histograms. Okay. Uh, if you if you can uh, open those or give me there you go. Control. And and if you just click once, you'll have uh, you'll have control. Okay. Clicking right now. Okay. Uh, here we are. Uh, we we improved the histograms a little bit. I I added uh, a cursor that shows you which is the bar you you, you are in when uh, when when you when you click uh, when you click in a time distance. I added uh, the the tooltip. The tooltip it's uh, according to me very useful when you when you have more than one lap because. It makes you, it, it, it lets you know uh, all the values of all uh, of all the bars. I've been uh, I've been playing uh, with uh, uh, with the histograms also for uh, for these. You can show bar bar values. Uh, okay, here in the bottom part of the of the bar, uh, you are displayed all the values. Values are always from. Uh, Always sorted from uh, from lower in the in the bottom to the higher in in the top. Uh, so exactly like uh, like the bars. The bars are displayed in, in you are displayed in, in the front the the lowest bar and the, in the in the background the the, the taller bar. Uh, the, the same is uh, the same is for uh, for values. Uh, another another thing we have here. Because I realized that uh, in these uh, in these uh, view, when you when you possibly add uh, more than two laps, things can be can be complicated. I mean, uh, also in the graphical, yeah, uh, the histogram is uh, is really busy. In this case, you can go uh, into settings, and you can uh, you might be wanting to show to show histograms as uh, as lines. So. It keeps the the window a little bit uh, more uh, free. I mean, I mean, it's uh, it's clear. It's more clear uh, to me to see to see values in in this way. Uh, you will see that you have a line with. Uh, uh, let, let me just just to explain it. Let me go back with uh, with one only one only lap. This line uh, moves. Uh, Along uh, all the top center points of every of every of every bar, uh, the the bars are always drawn in a little bit grayed out. Uh, are 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 always drawn, and uh, having uh, having a channel. If you place a cursor where where uh, you have an alarm, uh, also the the cursor in, into the histogram gets the color of uh, of the alarm. So I think it can be it can be it can be useful. I think. Okay. Uh, I have uh, noticed in some functions you have went ahead and put your channel tags in in some of the different ones. Histograms not being one of those right now, but but uh, some of the different functionality that you've done, you've had to, had had the. Channel yeah, tags I think up there as well. uh, I think I will be adding very very likely because uh, I think uh, tags can be can be useful also here. Uh, in 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 histograms, uh, every every channel will be will be displayed uh, on its own histogram. We will be not mixing uh, mixing channel as uh, as uh, Ray Studio Two analysis did, because I think it's uh, it's more clear. Right? I think it's never a useful feature to to mix uh, more than uh, than more than one channel on the same uh, on the same histogram. While uh, if you at at the lap, the two laps of the same channel are are on the same uh, on the same histogram in order to allow you to compare to compare values and bars. Uh, exactly the same happens uh, when you go to the x y plot. Uh, let me go here x y layout. Okay, this there, is there the, the channel tags are showing in the x y plot. I knew I'd yeah. seen them somewhere. I didn't remember where it was yeah. at. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here, here channel tags uh, are shown. Here you have cursor as well, and uh, here as well you can uh, you can be selected in selecting a tag and highlighting uh, highlighting a, a, a channel when when you have more than more more than one lap uh, displayed. 
uh, what else? Uh, I mean, here, I, I mean, I, I manage, uh, I manage in, in adding a cursor for sure. Uh, the possibility of uh, clicking a point uh, and go back to to a cursor value in the time distance plot is uh, is on the way. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so it will be will be added. In. I, I'm telling because uh, uh, because a few few minutes ago someone uh, someone asked for it. Yeah. How how do I change uh, how do I change the the um, x uh, x is uh, channel? Right click on the on the on the on the plot and uh, select the, the first menu. Choose uh, choose channel for a uh, for x axis and we have the same uh, the same window here in which. Uh, I promise tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be adding. I'll be adding a, a search bar. <laughs> yeah, it, it's already available in in our in our developer version. But uh, yeah, okay. Just click uh, click on one channel and uh, okay. Maybe I, I choose the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, th there is a, a, there's another way to change the x-axis over in the channel bar as well, right? Okay. Yeah. Sure. There, maybe maybe a, maybe there's another. That's maybe, a little bit maybe of a different easier. way. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's easier. You can uh, we can decide to use this roll rate and right click on it, right click and uh, use a uh, roll rate and you you can choose uh, the track map color as before and uh, the x axis uh, in the in the uh, in, in the, the x axis right there. Roll. Yeah in, yeah uh, sure. Uh, the the right click here is uh, context uh, sensitive. So if you Maybe if you uh, if you do it here, uh, you will be seeing that uh, you have. Oh, okay. <laughs> that that's a feature that that's not available now, but it's it's already here in the menu. Histogram color channel not available, but uh, it will be soon. Uh, it's 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 context uh, sensitive, so it, it depends on uh, on which windows you you have displayed here. Uh, it will be showing you only the visible ones. So if it's there, it can be it can be used. Uh, and there's a and there's another thing that I, I haven't looked down your list the most very far yet. But there's another whole functionality that I think just triggered that you just seen a trigger from, and and folks may not understand. But we can now, kind of a Ray Studio Two. We got used to using multiple worksheets when we wanted to do different things in different places, and right now we have the option of coming in and under settings, uh, you you have this allow different channels and panels, and if we do that, I'm just going to cancel out of that. We can then have a channel up here, in in one in our X Y plot, and have a different channel in our in our in our story in, in our uh, measures graph or. Uh, uh, time distance bar, and we can even have a, a, a different channels down here in the storyboard. So that um, um, makes the software extremely powerful where we can have maybe water temperature and oil pressure down here in the storyboard for so for a quick look over the entire thing. And then we might have speed and RPM in this one, and we might be doing a, a GSUM in this one, all because you can now turn off uh, turn on a function where you can use different channels in different things. Yeah. Uh, I, I see. I see a question uh, that asks, uh, "Can can you show the first way to set uh, to set the channel for X Y?" Uh, sure. The, the, you have two options. The first one is uh, is to right click in the in the. Okay. I you think you click, you, click, you have the once. control now. Click click okay. once in there. You should you should get there. You go. Okay. You go. Uh, the first one is right click here and uh, choose one one of these uh, two menus. The the first one. <clears throat> Uh, is needed for for choosing the x axis uh, uh, channel. Uh, just click here, select select the channel you want. Uh, Way down the just, bottom. Uh, the bottom is yeah, the GPS stuff. Okay, bottom. I think GPS it's GPS. Stuff. Stuff. Yeah, no, okay, no, no. your rate. Yeah, let's let, let, let us choose choose uh, your rate. Okay. okay. And this is the way I, I, I choose the channel. And the second way to choose the X axis uh, channel is to right click any of the channel that are in the channels list. If you if you if you see it's it's here in this channels list or in this one. So I can uh, I can place uh, the RPM for example. Use RPM in uh, scatter as uh, X axis. Here it is. <clears throat> This is uh, this is the, the the second possibility. 
I uh, introduced the, also the possibility to use a color channel also here in the XY plot. Uh, let me say we wanted to use, uh, I, I saw it uh, here, your rate. I want to use the your rate as a, as a color channel. I select here. Scatter as color channel. Okay. There you go. Okay. And here it is. It's not a big, not a big change of colors on that particular one, but what it's doing yeah. is it's scaling between the bottom and the top. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe yeah, a, a, one, one a lot of people like to use that on is uh, maybe lambda, uh, mm -hmm. sure. certain RPMs at certain throttle positions. RPM, it, RPM throttle and lambda, yeah, the, the, uh, the triplet pretty, pretty is uh, yeah, yeah, pretty typical, yes, absolutely. You visually and, uh, can see when you were at full throttle, not in, as well as uh, all the dots. Okay, I see. I see a question from uh, from Eldon. Uh, when you when selecting the x-axis via the, the 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 channels list, it replaced both uh, x y graphs. It happens always. Also, also if you if you select uh, the x uh, x-axis uh, here, it changes for all these plots. To have a separated uh, x uh, x-axis channel, you need to add another. Another uh, another plot window here. Choose uh, another scatter. Okay. And as you In see. this case, you have two scatters. You need to allow this one showing uh, uh, allow different channels, because normally when uh, when a window is added, all the channels uh, you select here go in in every in every window. If you want to do this, you want you need to to allow this, to allow diff different channels, and then uh, to select. But I mean, if you also if you do not uh, also if you do not allow different channels, if you want these uh, these channels, but you want to select another another channel as uh, let me choose vertical acceleration as uh, x axis. These window will be using a vertical acceleration this one will be using uh, will be using uh, rpm and if you want uh, here both windows are using are showing gps speed and rpm gps speed and rpm if i want this window to be using different channels i need to do this go to settings allow different channels here At the very first, it will be shown uh, as empty, but if I go here, no, let, let me choose another another channel, not uh, not the <laughs> not the. Uh, let me choose the ECU lambda, uh, for example. Show in scatter. Okay, uh, it's, ECU it's lambda. Just zero. zero. Yeah. It's just zero. It's uh, that particular case. Okay. Let me choose uh, for sure a GPS channel that is, uh, let me show GPS uh, longitudinal acceleration showing scatter. Okay, there you okay. go. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, all, all, all the meaningful channel, all the, the channel that are used in this, uh, in this layout are shown here on the, on the top of the, of the list. Also, if they are used into a different uh, a different uh, window, so let me uh, let me show what happens if if you do the same here in the storyboard. You can be wanting uh, maybe uh, as soon as you, as you choose uh, as you choose this window to allow different channels, it's plotted as empty because uh, it, it, it's no more bound to the main uh, to the main windows, uh, and so. It needs uh, a new channel to be to be displayed. You can go the exactly in the same place where where you select the channel. So you can go here, logger temperature, and show in storyboard, and it will be shown here. So in this moment, you will be you you are using uh, three different set of sets of channels. One for this one one for the storyboard and another one for all the remain all the graphs that are main uh, that are bound to the main uh, channel selection so it's uh, 
another possibility we we added into the into this version of uh, of uh, uh, Ray Studio Three, and uh, I think it's uh, it's it, it can be useful. Uh, it's very very powerful, and and then so setting things up and saving your profiles become even more important because all of these are all totally mm -hmm, saved. Yeah. If 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 this is your scatter plot, and maybe you call it, uh, you know, maybe this scatter is just for engine related stuff. You save that, and you have another scatter plot that was just for the G sum side. You had all the right things set up, uh, the channels in mm -hmm. the right spots, and uh, and you're and you're off and going. But profiles uh, just as important as be as before. Yeah, sure. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we're we're running out of time, but uh, uh, and well, I, think, I think I think I covered the, all, you, all the points. Uh, you did. I wanted to cover, and uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> there is a bunch more that we you know we either talked about or briefly, or we didn't uh, just didn't have time to to go through them deeply. And we're gonna have another one. I think it's the seventeenth. I think is the uh, December seventeenth. Uh, December seventeenth. Yeah. I think we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about some of the functions in in some more detail. So what I'd like everybody to do is make sure that you drop us a note, uh, software at aimsportline.com. We'll get back to that in a second. Or to me, about things you might want to see on the 17th. We're certainly going to focus on the, the stuff that Emiliano just talked about. But but uh, give us uh, give us some notes as you uh, as you download the software. It should be available. We're thinking probably Ooh, tomorrow, yeah. but within the next two or three days, you're gonna, your beta is going to have... Emiliano, are they? Will it just be an update inside of their beta, or do they need to go get a whole different uh, download? No, 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 no. It's uh, it will be available inside the beta. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so open up your beta software, the one with the gold yeah. icon. I and think in some hours I it will it will go there. Yeah, it's going to be very very soon. We we don't want to overpromise too much that way. So it, it'll be uh, uh, in just a few hours, or certainly within the next day or two, and update it. Everything you've just seen will be in there. Start to play with it, and then start to give us some feedback. Uh, software certainly, and, and include mm -hmm. me. And when we go to do the next one, uh, the, our next webinar on this topic, we will we will uh, we will make sure we hit some of those. Okay, perfect. Let me jump back to. Let me jump back to our presentation materials. We share, boom, boom. And let's kind of close this one up. And um, uh, got a, this video will be done here shortly. As soon as I can compile it all, put it all together, it'll be up on our YouTube site. Uh, we're up to about 134 videos right now and, and counting, of course, and, um, uh, and, and be ready to go. Uh, please share with uh, all of your friends. That uh, that these are up there. If they, if they, you've seen something on you know Ray Studio three, you know some folks that are using it that you don't think we're here today, uh, send them a link to the YouTube site and have them uh, come and watch what we just talked about. Uh, you're going to want to watch it too. Again, I am. Uh, we talked about so many things and we went over it fairly quickly that some of them you know may may get past me. So uh, I'll I'll go to the the YouTube site and and rewatch a little bit of this so I can keep keep up. So. Um, Customer support—it's—it's it's really what we're all about. We're—we're—we're uh, we're, uh, we're still going to races, and I know that some of you are still racing. Hopefully, we'll see you at the track. If not, give us a call at the 800 number. It—it'll uh, it, be pretty good. The um, our next webinar is this coming Thursday. Uh, uh, Thursday, December 3rd. A little bit of a time change for those of you that uh, attend live. Um, we're going to have Larry McReynolds, NASCAR. Um, Crew chief, you know, two-time Daytona 500 winner, with uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr. and with uh, Davey Allison, won the, the Daytona 500, uh, many many uh, you know, series championships, uh, 100 and you know, 122 Cup uh, top fives as, as a crew chief, uh, 23 wins, um, and now a, uh, a a broadcaster on Fox Sports uh, to to half of the season with the NASCAR races. So. Uh, Larry is uh, is going to come in and talk about stock car racing data, and uh, then and now uh, he was one of the first crew chiefs that actually used it in a test. I think back in 1988, uh, he went and 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 uh, went to a test and 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 uh, there was data loggers and 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 some other things on the car, and he and he had to learn a lot about it. And uh, he's going to share some of that experience of what. Uh, what was happening back then is ha and how he used it as he continued on as a crew chief. And then NASCAR now has data loggers in the cars and they're doing it in a, basically telemetry out with a limited number of channels. And that's shared with all of the teams while the, while the cars are on track. So they can look at when a driver, you know, one team can look at every other team's, when is the driver getting off the throttle, when he's getting back on, you know, uh, some, some different things. And I, and uh, we're going to chat about what, 
what is available to NASCAR uh, teams and crews right now as far as data. So I think that'll be an interesting thing. And of course, if, you've, um, if you're from here in the States and you've watched any of the races, Larry can uh, tell great stories and, and all sorts of interesting stuff. He's gonna be here taking your questions uh, outside of even what we just chatted about. So uh, make sure you join us. It'll be, a, we're gonna start the webinar right at uh, 10 o'clock Pacific, uh, one o'clock Eastern as we normally have, but uh, Larry is, uh, does a radio show for NASCAR right up until one o'clock. So it's gonna take him a minute or two to come and join us. So the, I've, got, I've got 10, 15 Pacific, 1, 15 Eastern as, as part of that. So uh, just be here, we'll, uh, we, we'll uh, Robbie and I, I think we'll do a, a, some dancing or something uh, to keep us all busy until Larry gets here. So yeah, it might be fun to watch uh, either way. So it'll, it'll be good. So uh, looking forward to that one. Um, uh, contact information. I will not be missing it. Yeah, you won't miss it. Yeah, exactly. I will uh, not be missing uh, it. I, I probably wouldn't either. The uh, uh, Emiliano's uh, email address, I've talked about it a bunch as we've gone through this today. It is beta software and we are, Emiliano and his team are working like crazy. I get daily emails or updates and, and, uh, and, and, uh, and I chat with Emiliano on Zoom meetings and they are just, it, it's being adjusted very, very quickly and adding features and fixing bugs. Uh, if you find something that's not working for you, uh, please write the email to, you can include me, but uh, you, very, very important that software at aimsportline.com is included in those emails and that they're the focus. They're the ones that can fix it right away. I'd like to keep up with it, but they they are the right ones. Um, they may ask for some of those dump files and you know if, if something crashes, they may ask you for some uh, additional things, but uh, the, they will they will do that and get the, and tell you exactly what they need, okay? I appreciate everybody being here. I appreciate all the AIM guys in the background. We did have a lot of questions and a lot of them were, uh, we tried to handle, I think most of them live. Uh, thanks everybody for uh, for coming and joining us. And um, uh, Tice mentions, and, and that is true Tice, there, there is a way to send bugs right with a feedback button that's inside of Ray Studio 3 and uh, and use that as well if if but if you yeah. if you struggle with that uh, 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 an email to start the process works works as well so I'm trying to sure. give you as many options as you as we can yeah yeah okay thank you Emiliano for all the hard work of putting it all together um, uh, anything else you'd like to add before we kind of close it down I'm thankful uh, to to all of you uh, as usual <laughs> It's your use that uh, that makes me happy. <laughs> absolutely. So, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you again, Emiliano. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. All the AIM guys in the background have been answering questions. Thanks again. I know it. Uh, you know, you're all super busy, so I, I I do appreciate it very much. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you on Thursday with Larry McReynolds. Well, you're gonna have a good time. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.